So most of the time when I go for a day hike, I travel quite light. I don't take a lot of food with me, at least not food that I have to do a lot of preparations for. Usually I have my lunch bag, which is just a dry sack, and I have a number of things in there. My coffee and tea supply, my uh, trail mix, some um, uh, cliff bars or other granola bars. I do have an extra package of food that is basically oatmeal just in case I, for whatever reason, have to stay out overnight or I have a guest or I need a, an extra meal because I'm extra hungry. But uh, I'll, in addition to that, I usually take a, a, a single bag that has a meal that I can prepare quite easily in a pot with boiling water. Occasionally I'll take some eggs out with me, maybe some wraps, maybe do something a little bit more complicated, but for the most part I like to do things that don't take a lot of time. Still, occasionally, it's nice to sit down and prepare a proper meal. And sometimes that means a steak or a hamburger or a piece of fish or a piece of chicken or pork chop or something along those lines. Something that you want to grill over the coals of a fire. And that requires, well it doesn't require, but it's most convenient if you have some type of a metal grill or grate that you can use. Most of them are quite large and heavy, some, not something I want to pack if I'm not going to actually plan for an extended stay or use it uh, on a regular basis. So recently I was out in their local dollar store and I saw something that I think I can convert into a lightweight, inexpensive grill that I can pack, Not probably not really notice the weight, but is there if I need it and uh, is something I can use and I think will work quite well. So let me reposition the camera and I'll show you what I found. So what I found at the dollar store was a grilling basket. It's the type of basket you'd use where you can put in some vegetables and close it up, lock the lid shut, and you can hold it and grill it over the barbecue. I suppose you could use this camping over the coals, but this is a little big. So I looked at it and I recognized from a picture I had seen on the Nova Scotia Facebook page posted by JT Tremblay that it's possible to take the lid right off of the grilling basket and you've got a instant grill. So that's what I did. This is the second one I bought just for the demonstration purposes. By the way, this cost me $3.50, so this definitely qualifies as a bargain item. If you take the grill off, this is what you end up with. So it has a handle on the end. Now that does add some bulk for packing, but not much. But it's a reasonable size grill, and I'll provide the measurements on the screen for you. It's lightweight, and I'll give you the weight of that as well. And, you know, I was a little concerned when I first saw it that it, uh, the quality of it, maybe it wouldn't hold up to using over the coals. But I realized, of course, that's what a grilling basket is intended to do. It is, in fact, made from stainless steel. One of my concerns is that it might be a nickel-plated or chrome-plated steel of some type. But it is stainless steel, and I can tell you that because I have cut the wires, and you can see that they're clearly stainless steel. Um, so I, that's what I did. Now, what I ended up with after taking that off, and it comes off very easily, was a basket, no lid on it, and I looked at that and I thought, there's, that's quite a waste, you know. I wonder if there's anything else I can do with that. Well, there is, and it works out quite well. Using the wire cutters on my Leatherman multi-tool, I was able to reach down between the, the segments in the grill cut them and end up with a very small grill. So now that now I've got a, a one that's a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, a little bit more compact than the other one. So I get two. For, for $3.50 Canadian, I get two grilling surfaces that I can use, pack easily, and uh, I'm going to be sewing up a very uh, lightweight, small uh, slip bag that I can put these in to keep my pack clean if they get a little sooty. Yeah, so that's that. So just a quick tip on how you can make yourself an inexpensive grill that you can carry in your backpack that doesn't take up a lot of space, isn't very heavy, is very inexpensive, which is the key word here, and is there when you need it. So if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, why not subscribe to my channel? Hit the like button, that encourages me to make other videos like this. Share it with your friends. And of course, get out and explore. Take that path less travel. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.